Good afternoon, all. We have a cubic that has uh, three roots. I don't, I don't, you know, you don't need me to tell you that, but they're uh, three roots, not necessarily distinct. And we're supposed to evaluate this expression that depends on the value of these roots. Now, needless to say, trying to evaluate, trying to find all three roots, even if they are distinct or not distinct, and then substituting them in here, obviously, is a very painful process, if not impossible, from a practical point of view. So what we do is we just take advantage of the root theorem uh, or the zero theorem, whatever you want to call it, A, B, and C are zeros or roots, and that means they correspond to factors. And when you carry out this expansion based on these factors that exist based on the roots, uh, we get this, this uh, representation of the roots as coefficients of the various terms in the polynomial. So just by inspection here, you'll notice that minus 5 is the coefficient of x squared. And so from there, we can con conclude that uh, A uh, plus b plus c is equal to 5. The minus signs go away. We're just equating coefficients here. So a plus b plus c um, must equal to 5. And again, folks, notice how the minus pops out automatically when you're expanding this expression and you get this. And there is already a minus in front of the 5 here. And so the minus is when you equate this minus object with this minus object, the minus signs cancel and you get the sum of the roots is 5. So whatever the roots are, they sum up to 5, okay? Now, uh, and why are we doing this? Well, this is an expression that depends on a, b, and c. Now, notice right here, when you, when you, again, when you carry out this expansion, the minus signs cancel out pairwise, and you get what is this expression here, a, b, plus a, c, plus b, c quantity, is a, is a coefficient of the uh, linear term. Now, these are called elementary symmetric polynomials. These are degree two ESPs, elementary symmetric polynomials. Now, by inspection, we can see that AB uh, plus AC, whoops, uh, AB uh, plus uh, AC plus BC is directly equal to the coefficient of the uh, X term, which is negative 7. Now notice we hang on to the minus sign here, right? This is equal to minus 7. Okay. And then right here, <clears throat> in a similar fashion, if we equate minus ABC with 12, we get, uh, let me put a comma here, we get ABC equals to negative 12. Okay, and again, this is a tedious process to do this. In other words, I just wrote down the work here. It's tedious to do all this, but this is what happens when you expand this out. And we get these concrete values for uh, expressions that look like they may be of interest. Now, notice already we know that ABC is equal to uh, negative 12, and so when you factor a, b, c out of this expression, you get this. So I already know that minus 12 would be right here uh, in place of a, b, c. We just need to know what a squared plus b squared plus c squared is. Now notice <clears throat> a squared plus b squared plus c squared is not anything like really any of these coefficients. However, uh, it turns out some algebra here will give us a way to um, determine the value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared indirectly. <coughs> now, <clears throat> when, you write, when you raise this trinomial to the second power, you get this. And again, some work is involved here. There's going to be nine terms here. And there's nine terms here. It's just they're not all distinct. Okay. And so uh, we can rewrite what we're looking for. a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to this, right? So we know that a plus uh, excuse me, uh, a plus b plus c is equal to 5. And so what we end up with is 5 squared right here. Okay. Minus 2 times whatever a plus b plus c is. Or, I mean, whatever a, b plus a, c plus, plus b, c is. Now, we know what that is. That's equal to negative 7, right? So we have negative 7 right here. And this is equal to... 25 plus 14, y'all, I'm getting 39. Double check me on that, but I, I'm pretty sure I did it right. right. <coughs> Again, y'all, we expanded this out because we didn't want to find out what a squared plus b squared plus, we wanted to find out what a squared plus b squared plus c squared is equal to, but we had to get it in term, 
in terms of the other coefficients here, okay? So anyway, we got 39 right here is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And so we know right here we would have to place a 39 right here, right? Now, just to clean it up just a little bit, um, I don't even know what to see. So this would be equal to uh, 12 times, uh, this would be equal to, what, what is it again, uh, minus 12? Okay, so we have uh, minus 12 times 39, whatever that is, folks, let's see. Okay, 10 times 39 is 390. So this would be equal to minus 390 uh, plus or minus 78, right? Isn't 2 times 39, 78? So you have minus 78 here. So y'all, if my sixth grade math is working, this would be minus 468. Okay, that's what I got. Who knows? doing a little bit of mental math here, but it's, I think I probably got it right. Again, 10 times 39, minus 10 times 39 is minus 390, two times 39 is 78 minus sign. So that looks like minus 468 is the final answer, folks, uh, for this object we are interested in. So let's come up here. This evaluates to minus 468. So y'all, I didn't double check this. I just did, I, I did all the hard stuff and just did the computations in my head. So hopefully we got it right. But I think I wrote down everything in a fashion that's comprehensible and easy to track in the event I made some sort of arithmetic mistake. Uh, okay, thank you for viewing.